Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't read it. You'll return the subscribe as always guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I'm going to apologize for sometimes my voice going in and out on my videos. I got these Rode microphones and it has a receiver that plugs up to my phone. And uh, for some odd reason, the plug-in part will pop out and you'll hear my voice fluctuate because the mic won't be set up. I do apologize for that, but sometimes it pops out and I can't see it. But anyway, I'm gonna, I was supposed to do this story first this morning because like, this story caught me. And uh, I saved it for my 7 o'clock. And the reason why I saved it for my 7 o'clock is I want you to see three things, three different dynamics that are happening. And all of them are bad. And it affects past, present, and future of people that you know. Some are here and some are not. You see this man over here. This story happened. Let me get my notes up here. In Staten Island, New York. In a neighborhood called Hempstead. Shout out all those places. And it's about a woman who got a protective order. An order of protection against her ex-boyfriend this guy here four names Jose William Funes Zabala 43 year old man his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend is 29 years old so you got a 43 year old man with a baby by a 29 year old woman nothing wrong with that but uh, what's wrong is this man killed this woman the day after her order of protection expired. And the way he did it and, and why he did it is messed up. I don't want to tell you too much. Just take a look at this. This is truly horrific because it just affects a whole lot of people. And I told you about, you know, anytime a violent crime happens to somebody and somebody gets brutalized, it leaves fragmented cracks out there. I don't want to say universe like I'm talking like, you know, but you understand what it affects a lot of other people that are not directly involved. But this two year old boy who was their son, he witnessed this. And uh, just take a look at it because it's heartbreaking, truly. Tonight, a man on Long Island is accused of killing his ex just one day after an order of protection against him ran out. And cops say he killed the woman in front of their two-year-old son, leaving that boy covered in his mother's blood. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang has the story from the Nassau County village of Hempstead. This is Jose William Funes Zabala. Nassau County police report he stabbed the mother of his child 34 times right in front of their traumatized two-year-old boy. I can't even imagine like what that baby went through. Like, it's just unbelievable. It was Saturday night at this home in Hempstead, Long Island. The 29-year-old victim lived in the basement with her toddler. She had an order of protection against Funes Zabala. Investigators believe she was caught in a violent relationship, finally getting help from the court when the baby had his skull and leg fractured. The tragic twist, her order of protection expired on Friday. The very next day, Funes Zabala apparently came back to the house, and when he learned she had moved on to another relationship, we're told he stabbed her to death. His son was there while it occurred. He witnessed this and stayed there in remaining in full blood of his mother. Authorities say Funes Zabala ran off and engaged in some self-inflicted wounds, but clearly was not as savage with himself. The baby, covered in blood, eventually found help upstairs in the house. She tried to do the right thing and hopefully her baby will be okay. I know she has no family here. Experts have determined the defendant fit to stand trial for murder. Meanwhile, local police are encouraging anyone who feels unsafe to know that an order of protection can easily be extended. In Hempstead, Lucy Yang, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. That's horrific. And it's sad. Before I go into this, let me just say this, and this is just me talking. A piece of paper is not going to stop a monster. It's not. They got these protection orders, and they go and serve them to these dudes, and 
nothing happens. These guys don't care. They don't care about the law. They don't care about nothing. They only care about destruction and the chaos they could cause out here from somebody that they think hurt their feelings. How many times have we done videos on this channel, guys? Like this. Somebody have a border protection? Dudes say, F that paper and kill her. A lot of times these dudes that do this be doing it in front of people. Thus, this man did it in front of his own child at 43 years old. That already tell me you was a shit boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you was fighting on the kid and the uh, woman. Did y'all hear the thing? Said he hit, hit on the kid before, hurt the kid. So she went and followed up like they tell everybody to do. When you're in trouble, go through the steps in the justice system. Look at her now. Stab what? 36 times? 34 times in front of a baby. That's brutal. It's brutal. And it ain't like this. <laughs> no, it's multiple times he, him picking and choosing, her screaming and trying to survive, and the baby frozen in fear. You know how much therapy and stuff he going to have to go through? For the rest of his life, most likely, at least in his teen years, that's something you don't never forget. I don't know if you people have ever seen somebody get stabbed. That's a brutal, bloody thing. Said he was covered in his mom's blood, just stuck there. Then this coward ass piece of shit does it and then runs off and leaves the baby in there with the corpse of his mother. How heartless is that? How heartless is that? Your kid never meant nothing to you anyway. You probably tried to impregnate her to keep her. That didn't work, so therefore the baby didn't have no value. And as the baby was growing, you, you, he fell victim to you doing crazy stuff too. It's like some people are not human to me. I mean, because they do stuff that's inhumane to other human beings, especially those that's close to them. That's your child. That's your legacy. And that's what you do to them. You hurt them. 43 years old, you had him, what, when he was 41? You can't control a uh, baby? Just like these other stories. These people had these babies, ain't got plan the first. No plan B, no plan C, no nothing. That woman was 29 years old, you was 43. You got what? Let's, let's do the math on this. 14 years older than her, you should have some type of wisdom and intelligence to be a guiding light and a leader to where yo, you and her get along. And if y'all don't, you could have fucking left. Had an order of protection. Didn't lock your dumb ass up. You ran right back into the flames. Oh, I'm gonna, I'll fix her. Go to her house. She moves. You find about where she's at. And just like a devil, soon as it expired, because you knew, you creep back over there and pop up like Jack in the Box. Hey, what's up? Ah, I, I moved on. Congo, stabber. Make it make sense. People that do horrific shit need to be torn out the frame. They need to be torn out the frame. What he did not only killed that woman, but it killed part of that child. He'll never be the same. He'll never be the same. Bad enough you had injured him and already gave him traumatic stress from him witnessing you fight on the mom before to where she had to go to uh, get paperwork to get away from you. She moved on with her child to try to get a better life. And here you come taking it away. That's how I look at these crimes, man. I look at them from a common sense standpoint. She wasn't fucking with you. She fled from you. And you went back and had to finish the job because just putting your hands on her wasn't enough in front of your baby hurting your child wasn't enough you had to devastate him for years to come to where strangers got to come and try to reason with him and calm him down so he don't be like your bitch ass now you locked up with your head down and stuff yeah they need to paint a dotted line right across it and go with it with an axe people like this shouldn't make it to the courthouse seriously you not only killed that woman in a violent way, but you destroyed the mind of your own baby. And that's fucking unacceptable, whether it's your kid or not. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Sometimes you can't tell people it's going to be all right when they see things and can't unsee them. That's horrific for a two-year-old boy to endure. Especially with a, with a mind, his mind that young, 
and he still can't rationalize things. See you in the next video. Take care.